We're going to be working in Jasper Active, Microsoft Word 2019, Lesson 1, Saving Documents. If this is the first time you've done it, click on Learn. If you're coming back into it, click on Practice. Once that has loaded, you'll see that you have Microsoft Word open with a blank document in your instruction panel. So in this exercise, we're going to learn to save and protect documents. So we'll save two newly created documents. Step one, save an existing document. With the agenda document displayed on the screen, in the quick access toolbar, click save. So looking at my screen, this is not an agenda document. I need to go down to my taskbar and hover over my Word icon, and I will see that I have multiple documents open. One says agenda, and one is a blank document. So I'm going to make sure I click on the agenda document to have that open. And then I'm going to go to the quick access toolbar. So that's up here in the upper left-hand corner, and I'm going to click the save icon. This hasn't been saved before, so it's going to come and open my Save As section. I'm going to click on Browse to open up my File Explorer and then navigate to my Jasper Active folder. So yours might be in a different place, but mine is under this PC in my Windows C Drive, Jasper Active folder, into my name, and then I'm saving this, so I want to save it. If you look over at our file path right here, it's having me go to the My Projects folder. So I'm going to open My Projects. In the file name and in the file name field, type Agenda for Soccer Coach Meeting, and in the Save As Type field, ensure the Word document or DocX is selected and press enter. All right, so here's my file name field right here, and right now it says agenda, but I need to change that. I'm gonna type agenda for soccer coach meeting. And then below that, it shows me my save as type, and right now it's a Word document. That's gonna be my docx type. So I'll just keep that as is, and then I'm going to press enter. Right, I did not have to hit the save button. I could just hit enter and it will save it for me. And so notice now that the title bar displays the name of this file and that's confirmation that our file has been saved successfully with that name. So anytime you're curious, you can check right up there. That's it for step one. So I'm gonna mark as answered and go to step two. For step two, we're going to save a document using a keyboard shortcut. So we're going to switch to a blank document. So again, down here at the bottom, I'm going to hover over my Word icon and select the blank document. With this still active, I'm going to press and hold Control and tap the letter S. This is going to open up my Save As. I'm going to go back for just a second. A lot of times what I notice is we're working in two different programs, both Jasper Active and Word. So if at any time your keyboard shortcut isn't working, make sure that you have Word Active. So I'm going to do this one again. Control S. This will open up my Save As screen. I'm going to click Browse and I'm going to find that My Projects folder again. So this PC. Windows C, Jasper Active, into my name, and then into my projects. In the file name field, type Travel to Europe Notes. So again, anytime Jasper Active wants us to type something, it's going to show us in bold exactly what it wants us to type. So I'll find the file name field, and I'm going to type Travel to Europe Notes. I'm going to pay attention to spelling and capitalization. In the Save As Type field, click the arrow and then click Word 97 to 2003 document. 
Okay, so I'm going to check out my file type and I'm going to select Word 97 to 2003 document. And now I can click the Save button. It wants us to type travel to Europe seminar and press enter twice. So again, paying attention to spelling and capitalization, I'm going to type travel to Europe seminar and then make sure I hit the enter key two times. This is going to give me a little space between my title here and then where I'm going to start typing next. It wants us to type, choose one or more cities as your destination. So again, if it tells us to type something, it wants us to type those exact words. I'm going to show you a shortcut on copying and pasting text out of your instruction panel and into your document. So over in my instruction panel, I'm going to select that text by just clicking and dragging to select the text I want. Now, you could hit Control C, Control V to copy and paste, but I always select the copy selected text button in the instruction panel because it keeps the formatting from getting kind of wonky. All right, so I've clicked copy selected text. I'm going to go over here, find my insertion point, press and hold Control, and tap the letter V. So there is my text right there. It wants us to press Control and S again to save the changes made to this document. So making sure my Word document is active. I'm going to press and hold Control and tap the letter S. Now you notice that nothing really happened. I kind of had a little flash and my cursor very briefly did a little circle there. So I'll do it again. You can see it just really quickly flashes. Now since our document is already saved, it just, when we hit Control S again, it just make sure that it saves the latest updates and it really only takes a second. That's it for step number two. So I'm going to mark as answered and go to step three, enter properties for a file. So with the travel to Europe notes file open on the screen, okay, that's that one. Click file and ensure info is selected in the left panel. So I'm going to go to my file tab right here. And you can see on the left hand side, there's info and it's going to give me a lot of information about my document. It wants us to click properties and then click advanced properties. So properties lives over here towards the right. And if I click on it, it gives me an advanced properties icon. When I click on that, I'll get a dialog box that's going to pop open and it has a bunch of fields for me. Back to my instruction panel, click in the individual fields and type the following. So in the title field, it wants me to try, type travel to Europe seminar. In the subject field, notes on how to book a trip to Europe. And then in the keywords, it wants me to use travel, Europe, and tips for travel. I'm going to put a comma in between each one of those items. So keywords is down here a little bit. Travel, comma, Europe, comma, tips for travel. I'm paying attention to spelling and to capitalization here. When I have all of those fields filled in, I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click the back button to return to my document. And I will mark as answered. So when we enter properties, it doesn't really make any changes to our actual document. That's all information that lives in the background. Going on to step number four, we're going to make changes to the document. So click at the end of the choose destination line and press enter. So choose destination line is this one where it starts with choose, ends with destination. I'm gonna make sure my cursor is put at the very end of that and I'm going to press enter. Now it wants us to type compare prices from online travel sites as well as actual travel agencies and then press enter twice. So you can type this, always good practice to type, or you can use that copy selected text button 
and paste it in using control V. Once that's typed in or pasted in, I'm gonna hit enter twice so that I have a space in between this line and my next line. Now, before we type this next line, it wants us to press tab. So when we hit tab, it's gonna move our cursor half an inch over to the right. We're gonna type or copy and paste window shop brochures and write down prices of tours so you can research what they may have to offer online. I'm using my copy selected text button, making sure I'm at the right spot with my cursor, pressing and holding control and tapping the letter V and there's the text that I need. And at the end of that one, it also says to press enter twice. One, two. That's it for step four, so I'm gonna mark that as answer and go to step number five. Step five is deleting a blank line. So click in the blank line between the second and third paragraphs and press delete. So we have our title here, so we're not counting that as a line. We have one, two, three lines. It wants us to select this blank line in between here. Now, frequently I notice that my students think hitting the backspace key is okay, but in this case, Jasper Active wants us to press delete. So we're gonna find the delete key on our keyboard. Usually it lives in the upper right-hand corner. When you find it and you hit it, it will delete that line out. The second part of this step says to click at the beginning of so in the third point and drag to select to the end of the line and then type to compare prices online. So if we look at our third point, so here's again, here's our title and we have three points, one, two, three. We're gonna find the word so. It's about in the middle of this line. We're gonna click it and drag it to the end of our text right here and you can see that I have it selected. I don't need to hit the backspace or the delete key, just like any kind of field, I can just type right over it. So it wants us to type to compare prices online. There we go, got that typed in. I'm gonna hit mark as answered and go to step number six. This is again, just using a keyboard shortcut to save. So I'm gonna make sure my Word document is active. I'm gonna press and hold control and tap the letter S. Again, you might have seen that very quick flash that so just makes sure that I have it saved. And I'll mark that as answered. Step seven is close a document. So we're gonna click the close button for this document. On this one, here's our close button. I'll just go ahead and close that. Now we still have our agenda document open and it wants us to use a keyboard shortcut to close this. So the keyboard shortcut to close the document is control W. I need to make sure that I've clicked back into Word, press and hold control, tap the letter W, and you'll see that that has been closed. All right, if it asks you to save or not save or cancel the action, click save. I'm gonna mark as answered and click submit and then return to Jasper Active.